Space explorers in recent years have discovered thousands of planets across the galaxy, and this is all thanks to emerging technologies. Space exploration hopes to find answers to how the universe began, but beyond that man hopes to find planets that support human habitation. Our current technology may not be enough to land us on these planets, but the knowledge that there is worlds out there that could support life would propel us to creating new technologies that could transport us to these planets. So today we'll take a look at 5 amazing planets that could support life. Kepler-186f Kepler-186f is an exoplanet that's roughly 582 light-years from Earth, and can be found in the constellation Cygnus. A transit method was used in detecting the exoplanet through NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. The planet, which is around 10% bigger than the Earth in size, orbits as red dwarf star Kepler-186. This is in a region known as the habitable zone, which is the area from a star to a planet where the planet can pull in liquid on its surface given that the atmospheric pressure to be enough. Kepler-186f is the only planet in the habitable zone that's almost the same size as the Earth, or the rest are at least 40% larger. Other than the size of the planet that is known, the composition and mass are not, but researchers have suggested the planet may most likely be rocky or an ocean planet with lower density and a thicker atmosphere. Since the atmospheric characteristics of Kepler-186f are unknown, the planet's position in the habitable zone does not guarantee that it could support life. The distance of the planet from Earth makes it hard for the atmosphere to be studied by both existing and successive telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope. Kepler-186f completes an orbital cycle around its host star once every 130 days, while receiving a third of the energy from its star in comparison with the amount the Earth gets from the Sun. There's about four other planets that orbit around the Kepler-186 system, each planet being no greater than 1.5 times the size of the Earth. The planets are Kepler-186b, Kepler-186c, Kepler-186d and Kepler-186e, and have an orbital cycle around the Sun 4, 7, 13 and 22 days respectively. The Kepler-186 star is weaker than the brightness of the Earth's Sun, meaning the star's brightness at noon on the surface of Kepler-186f will only be as bright as an hour before the Earth's sunset. Proxima Centauri b The European Southern Observatory announced the discovery of an exoplanet called Proxima Centauri b, and this is orbiting its red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, making it the closest star to the Sun which makes it the closest exoplanet is currently known to the solar system. The planet is in the Centaurus constellation and is around 40 trillion kilometers from Earth. The planet's minimum mass is about 1.3 times that of Earth, and it orbits in the habitable zone while taking around 11.2 days to complete an orbital cycle. Proxima Centauri b's distance from its star is around 7 million kilometers, or 4.3 million miles, which is about a twelfth of the Earth's distance from the Sun. The distance between the planet and its star makes it a habitable zone only because of the star's mass of 0.12 as compared to the Sun and a low luminosity of around 0.1% of the Sun's brightness, which makes the exoplanet's surface not brighter than the Earth's twilight. There is not enough information to tell if Proxima Centauri b can be inhabited. Since it's not known if the planet has an atmosphere, the planet's temperature cannot be determined. The presence of an atmosphere would allow the formation of water on the planet's atmosphere which supports life. Also, because of the closeness of the planet to its star, it may become tidally locked which means one side of the planet would always face its star, while the other side is permanently in darkness and cold. Although newer modelling works propose that given the presence of an atmosphere winds can spread the heat on the planet evenly. Another challenge the planet has are the flares let out by Proxima Centauri, which would destroy the planet's atmosphere and erode the surface of the planet. However, if the planet has a magnetic field, it could protect itself from the flares to an extent. The discovery of the planet has given a chance for the proposal of a flyby mission to the planet, and this will be done through the Starshot project. 
Kepler-69c Kepler-69c is an exoplanet found orbiting in the Kepler-69 system, which is located around 2,400 light-years from Earth. The planet is most likely rocky, and is referred to as a super-Earth because of its mass and diameter that is way bigger than the Earth. The discovery of the planet was announced on the 13th of April 2013, after NASA's Kepler observed over 50,000 stars that included Kepler-69, and this was made between May 2009 and March 2012. It was observed that Kepler-69c orbited its star every 242 days, and a conclusion reached that it could have only been responsible by a planetary body. There have been different thoughts on whether the planet is a super-Earth that is habitable or a super-Venus. The surface temperature is around 275 degrees, and is over six times the mass of the Earth, and close to twice the radius of Earth. At the time the planet was discovered, scientists considered the likelihood of water or even an ocean being on the planet. This is because the planet orbited a habitable zone where liquid water could form. However, further investigation showed the planet should be categorised under the Venus category. The host star has around 80% of our sun's luminosity, and considering the distance of Kepler's 69c to its star is 64% as compared to the Earth's distance to the sun. Researchers feel the planet is too close to harbour life in it, and even if it could, the planet would be located at the edge of a habitable zone. A runaway greenhouse effect on the surface of the planet from a higher stellar flux would cause the oceans to boil, and the surface temperature would rise to over 227 degrees, because vapour would have submerged the atmosphere which is part of the important component that makes up greenhouse gases. Kepler-442b Kepler-442b is a super-Earth exoplanet found in the constellation Lyra, and is around 1,200 light-years from Earth. The super-Earth exoplanet is thought to be rocky in its makeup because of its diameter which is bigger than that of the Earth, being around 1.3 times its size and having a mass of 2.3 times larger than that of Earth. But it's not as big as Neptune and Uranus in the Earth's solar system. The exoplanet star is a K-type star known as Kepler-442, and has a surface temperature of around 4,100 degrees. The distance between the exoplanet and its host star is around 0.4 times the distance between the Sun and the Earth, and a little bit over the distance between Mercury and the Sun. Because of the nature of this type of star the exoplanet orbits around, it gets around 70% of the sun rays the Earth gets from the Sun, a factor for the planet being habitable. It takes a period of 112 days for the exoplanet to complete an orbital cycle around its host star, as a result of the distance between Kepler-442b and its star, it's beyond the point the star can tidally lock to the planet, and is currently the only Earth-like planet discovered that is habitable and not tidally locked. The tidal effect of the star to Kepler-442b because of their closeness, will make the planets rotate at a slower pace, where its one day as compared to Earth could be as long as weeks or months. However, the only factor that could pose as a challenge in the planet being able to support life will be the high stellar activity of its star. If the star has passed the initial phase, then the planet will become habitable. The exoplanet's discovery was officially made public on January 6, 2015, after it was located by the Kepler spacecraft through the transit method. Ross 128b 11 light years away from Earth lies an Earth-sized exoplanet called Ross 128b, which is orbiting a dull red dwarf star around the inner habitable zone. The planet was discovered by Xavier Bonavis and his team at the La Silla Observatory in Chile. They used a high-accuracy radial velocity planet searcher owned by the European Southern Observatory. The results help the team to know the mass of Ross 128b is at least 1.3 times the size of the Earth, which shows the planet is rocky. The radius of the planet is unknown as the planet does not transit its star, and therefore the density of the planet cannot be determined. Ross 128b is 20 times closer to its host star as compared to Earth's distance to the Sun, 
which is the reason for the exoplanet completing its orbital cycle within 9.9 days. This kind of distance would mean the exoplanet would not be able to support life if it were in the solar system. But the red dwarf star of the exoplanet has a lesser temperature that makes the planet habitable, with a surface temperature close to that of Earth's. The very close distance between the planet and its host star suggests the planets may be tidally locked with one side in total darkness, while the other faces the star. So what do you think of these five amazing planets? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.